Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started this week by accepting the letters of credence from the new High Commissioner of the Commonwealth of Australia to Guyana, Her Excellency Sonia Kopp at State House. He told the High Commissioner that Guyana is aligned with many of the policies and programs that Australia promotes and called for stronger cooperation between the two nations. The President also stated that Guyana is undergoing a period of transformation and is building an ecosystem to support the country's quest to become a global leader in climate, energy and food security. On Tuesday, President Ali made an impromptu visit to Lepold Street, Georgetown, where he inspected the ongoing community employment project with youths in the area. The head of state met with the youths currently managing their own company, Leopold Street Incorporated, that has been contracted by the Ministry of Housing and Water to build 1,800 concrete blocks in the first phase. The president told the youths that he is proud of them and the work that they are doing and wants them to be a critical part of the development of their community. Later that day, President Ali also inspected the ongoing road upgrades connecting the east coast of Damarara and Georgetown. He was updated on the $1.8 billion project that will see the conventional two-lane road upgraded to a four-lane highway that will run from the east coast of Damarara to Dennis Street and then to the back of Sheriff Street in Georgetown in an effort to reduce the traffic congestion. Later that evening, His Excellency attended a reception at Georgetown Club in observance of Europe Day 2023. He said Guyana and the European Union share common values in the promotion of peace, the upliftment of the livelihoods of people, upholding the principles and values of democracy, and ensuring that our voices are loud, singular, and clear in every area where injustice tries to overcome justice. On Wednesday, the President held several community outreaches on the east coast of Damarara, including Fried Lust, Better for Wacton, and Plaisance. The President listened to the concerns raised and committed to having them resolved before the end of the year. During an impromptu visit to the Better for Wacton Secondary School, President Ali committed to providing the necessary assistance, including computers for the Information Technology Lab, a public address PA system, and more furniture for the school. He also committed to fixing the community centre ground and rehabilitating roads and drainage networks with the support of labour from the community. So all these matters that are raised here, the, all these matters will be completed before the end of this week. Alright, so we're going to fix all of this for you in the school, okay? Thank you, sir. And then I know that, that your school is growing and that you need more space, so Minister Indar and Minister Manichan will come to see how we can uh, find ways in which to, we can extend the school or what we can do because you know there's limitation of space also. So I want you to know that we're going to work hard to ensure that your life is better. I want you to focus on your education. There's tremendous opportunity now. Uh, there's, uh, as, as soon as you're finished here, you can go on to scholarships under the Gold Program. We're working towards ensuring that University of Ghana education will also be made free. So all of these things are giving you a better chance and a better future. As part of another community outreach, President Ali engaged with residents and farmers of Marlborough and Hackney, Pomeroon River, as well as farmers of Dartmouth and Queenstown, Essequibo Coast. While addressing hundreds of residents during two community meetings in Dartmouth and Queenstown, the President said he would ensure that the development is far-reaching. His Excellency noted that the main objective of his government is to bring balanced development to every community and region across the country. On Friday, the new one Guyana Park in New Amsterdam was commissioned by President Ali. Dr. Ali stressed that the recreational facilities such as these should remain safe spaces to foster community development. That is why you see we have seating for community and this we want to build a community spirit. As you come out as people in the community to sit together and talk to each other, you will be counseling each other indirectly. You'll be sharing challenges, sharing experiences. You'll be able to know your neighbors and that is what we want to core out of this. President Ali highlighted the need for persons who abstain from negative practices that would taint the purpose for which the park was built. This space is to be treated with respect. It's a family-oriented space. This is not a space for abuse, liming, and all the other type of activities that does not come with a family-oriented space. This is not a rum shop or a beer garden or a minibus. Uh, or taxi blaze, music blazing competition square. This was the President's Diary where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next time.